Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, full game walkthrough. This is episode 11, name to be determined. Uh, your first like goal is 100 likes, so let's try to get those likes up if we haven't already. And uh, we're going to be continuing in Costa del Sol as uh, we do a helicopter ride as well as progress the main story. Uh, we did a little bit of, I guess, free roaming or side questing uh, on the last episode, and today is going to be story-related stuff, or tonight is going to be story-related stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's that's all I really got. Also, there is a short tonight at 11 o'clock um, to help, like, with views, so hopefully that'll work out. We're going to try to find the helicopter, because I would like to take a helicopter ride if at all possible. This is a provisions place. We're looking for a helicopter pad. I think this is it. Um, but it doesn't look like uh, the helicopter has anything yet. There's no marker to talk to anybody. This is a rest spot. This is... Oh, this is what's-his-name's hotel. That's what that is. Your jar of pickles is inside the fridge. I didn't throw it out, so it's still in there, honey. Um... Hmm. Where's that blasted helicopter? Oh, there it is. Try that. Okay, let's go! And this is where Yuffie was hanging out, eating the ice cream. Save your feet and ride a no, I don't, I don't want to ride a wheelie. Thank you, though. No wheelies. No wheelies. Oh. I thought people could learn the Hawaiian dance or something. Nope, this doesn't look like it's anything. Alright, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So, um, tonight's uh, 11, uh, 45 stream will be Prince, or not Prince, well, excuse me, Twilight Princess, um, for Papyrus, and then tomorrow's Ultimate Selects is, um, Mario 60, or Paper Mario 64 for Gamer Gal Val. So, hopefully Papyrus is around tonight. If not, if Richard Taylor's here, I can do his Zelda thing. Um, so, either one is fine. It's hard for me to remember all the nights that the Ultimates have available because we have um, so many VIPs. I try to get everybody's schedule as best I can, but um, sometimes it's hard for me to remember who has the day off. I get it kind of mixed and match a little bit. feel bad about it. Um, also, we're having a problem with our community tab. I tried to schedule a, a YouTube short for um, later tonight, but it didn't work. So hopefully it'll let me post the link later. Alright, so where in the world is this helicopter pad at? I think the helicopter pad is in a really fancy hotel. I think that's how they do it. So, really, the fanciest hotel around is I think over here. Yeah, this is the fancy fancy one. Fancy fancy. This place. This is where you can play the piano. Welcome to the Royal Coast. Please enjoy your stay. Welcome. Need some rooms? Oh, I see. Now you have some rooms. No cutscene. Who's this guy? La, 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 uh. la, la. Curious about this old clavier. I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. Okay, so this is obtain sheet music found at pianos around the world to uh, add musical things so you can play music. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of the world. How may I be of service to you? I don't, I don't want to to play music because. If I play Tifa's theme, um, or Eris theme, I'm gonna have my video claim. So, no thank you. 
No. And if you perform well, you get a reward. The only way I can do it is if I mute the game, and then you guys just hear me complaining about how badly a score I get. That's, that's the only thing I could think of. We look forward to uh. seeing you again. Okay, so what did what did they call this area out here? Outside of the Costa del Sol is what? Clay Center map quests. Toward Mount Ah, that's what it's called. Toward Mount Coral. Okay. Yeah, I can. Uh, beach resort. Okay, cool. All right, party time. Da, 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 da. Hello, Link. Amber's on her uh, 15. Da, 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 da. Not the Toad Smokes 15, like. Although with Amber, no. Um. Yeah, that's how Amber. Amber was on her 15. That's how she lost her voice. <laughs> no, I don't do well with smoking. I have secondhand smoke issues. I had family members that smoked a lot. Mm, the Portuguese aside of my family, they are smokers. All of them. <laughs> mm, yep. That side of my family, all smoke. And the weird thing is most of them are paramedics, police officers, EMTs. Some of them are doctors. And they all smoke, and it's like, Surgeon General warning, they're like, eh. One of my cousins, he's a EMT in New York City, he's like, die young, make a pretty corpse. So he's like, I'm gonna live my life how I want. And it's like, he knows, he knows it's bad for him, but he smokes all the time. I'm amazed he hasn't gotten cancer, personally. Um, he's now, he's gotta be 50, 55 now. And as far as I know from my grandma, he's still around. And I think he still works in New York City as like a, an ambulance driver or something like that. But yeah, he smokes. But I have, um, I can't, even when I go to hotels, I ask for non-smoking because like in the 90s, you just ask for non-smoking. I was like, is this non-smoking? And now, you know, when they're like, everything is not smoking, sir, it's like, well, I'd just like to ask. I mean, it's great because, I mean, you know, it's not the best for you. But it's like, I can't deal with it. So. Yeah. Hang loose. Our copter is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. Aw, we can't do the copter thing right now. Yeah, uh, when Amber and I were were dating, as well as like when we were teenagers, there used to be restaurant sections that had smoking and non-smoking. Yep, that was normal. Oh yeah, even if you went to the non-smoking part of the restaurant, you could smell it. It just wasn't as bad as the smoking section. That was normal. And it's like. Ugh. Link, let's energy. all the hang out too. Come on, Zelda. Hang out. <laughs> okay, that didn't work out the way Amber thought it was going to. She's like, take that. Two-person riding on a chocobo? That would be interesting. One thing I remember is one of my New York relatives was actually trying to quit smoking. And the rest of the family was giving him a hard time because everybody in the family smoked. 
he'd have the he'd have the patch on his arm and people would be making fun of him. He's like, yeah, you'll be back on it in a couple weeks. Something like that. He actually did manage to quit smoking. The sad thing is that relative's not around anymore. Car accident. Yep. And he was the he was the guy who was uh, health conscious. Yeah, there's um, certain things that they can use to, to vacuum out bad air and stuff like that, which is cool. But for the most part, restaurants now, um, they expect you to, you know, not smoke in the restaurant. Like, it's... which is a good thing, because I don't, I don't think that you want to smell that when you're eating your dinner. Like, I wouldn't want that. If people want to smoke, cool, they can do it outside. <laughs> Because what happens if you do it inside of a building, um, usually that building will soak up like all that smell. And then you can smell it. Can you smell? There's a jellyfish way out here. Aha! Triggered. All right, so anyway, guys and gals, enough of me uh, reminiscing of the past. Uh, let's get those likes up if we haven't already. Ouch. Cloud, why? Ooh, these things give you 99 experience. That's fun. That's already more than the secret bosses in the grassland. I think tomorrow we'll fight the secret boss of the grassland. I can just show you guys. Because I'm, I'm not going to reload my save file. I've already come so far that I don't really care about that grinding save file. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter about the save file. Because it will never work. Nothing to it. No. Causes all kinds of problems. Hold on. Zelda, I know you're licking the bag again. Please stop. Mm -hmm. Um, little one, can you peek over your head and see if she's licking a bag? It's not good for her to do that. Okay, what kind of bag is it? Zelda, stop that, you weird freak. I don't understand why you have to do that. I mean a loneliness response. She has a lot of people to, to hang out and pet her and all kinds of stuff. After Shadow passed away, that's when she started, like, licking bags. But we spend all kinds of time with her. How can she... She misses Shadow. She misses Shadow? Shadow used to bully her. No, but she used to Alright. Well, I mean, sometimes... Well, I would be sad, too, if Link kept beating me up. Link doesn't even lick bags. Link doesn't do anything except randomly attack people. <laughs> what is a little chocobo? I don't care what the chocobo does. Moogle Intel? I have no idea what that is. Uh, it's a beautiful region. Maybe we should call this Fun in the Sun. I thought they said as soon as I left this area, I was supposed to switch to different costume. I was supposed to go back to my original costume. But they're still letting me wear this stuff. Which, I mean, I don't mind. Link, what are you doing with that bag? I know you don't lick bags, so what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing, you ruffian? Rough rough cat. There's these giant mushrooms over here. We're going into the Super Mario territory. Do 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 Link, what are you doing? You don't lick bags, what are you up to? Whoa, what's this? Pop up inside a mushroom shaped Moogle's 
thing to peek, get a peek at the lives of the fantastical creatures? Huh? What in the hell? Link, what are you doing? His paws are so big. Enter a mook, mook, mook stall? It's like a hobbit hole. Mog stool. Yeah, we're gonna go inside somebody's mushroom house. Let's do it. Sounds fun. We knocked first. What is going on? Welcome to our Moogle Emporium. Though, I'm sorry to say, we aren't open quite yet, and I'm not even sure when we will be. Koopo! Those Mooglets are refusing to come back, and we can't do business without them, Koopo. Actually, maybe you wouldn't mind helping? The Mooglets are having too much fun to come back on their own, so I want you to round them up. And then we can open up the Emporium, and everyone will be happy, Koopo! Uh, fine. I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much, Koopo! That's great, Koopo. Okay. All right. Um. Hmm. Okay then. Uh, what is it? Chase the mooglets, moglets around the field to lure them back to their stool, or catch them and escort them there yourself. Just beware their playful little tricks. Beware their playful little tricks. And uh, don't get hit. Catch them and escort them. Just beware their playful tricks. Get hit three times and the game will be end, Koopo. Okay. I will try, Koopo. So how exactly do I grab them, Koopo? I've never actually done this. Wait, how do I how do I grab you? I'm supposed to corral them? Corral them. Whoa. Ouch! I have no idea. I'm not. I'm supposed to take them where, Koopo? I was mostly paying attention, Koopo. Wow, these guys are constantly throwing magic stuff at me, Koopa. There's no way for me to, um, to attack them or grab them? Like, how am I supposed to get them? Timed, by the way. Ah! Okay, so are they? Where are they? Where the heck are they supposed to be rounded up? Where are you going, Koopo? I guess you have to bring them over here, Koopo. Okay, there you go. So you have to bring them to this area. That's not hard at all, Koopa. It is kind of annoying, though, Koopa. Where are 
Where'd you go, Koopa? Oh no, Koopa. No, Koopa! Just two more. This orange guy's pesky. Koopo! Koopo! Yes, Koopo! Now just this Koopo. Aha! Well, that was fun. Sort of. They are cute, yes. Thanks so much, Koopo. Now we can finally open the Emporium. Here you can exchange Moogle medals for cool stuff we found lying around. Everything's great, I promise. Okay. I don't know if I have Moogle medals, though. Returning all the Mooglets to their Moogle... Whatever will grant access to the new shop at which you can exchange medals for a variety of uh, interesting items. Um, helping open up more Imperiums will increase the Moogles merchant's rank, which will in turn expand their selection. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, you're almost at... Uh... <laughs> Excuse me. You're almost at 100 likes. You're about 10 away. I would like to see what you have. Do they have an emerald? A gemstone can be found in rabbit burrows. Well, what does it do? A proper sword technique license cloud skill points. Way of the Fist. Manuscript. How many Koopo points do I have? I'm gonna buy this. I'm guessing this is for Tifa. Cool beans. Mm. HP up, Emerald. Okay. Just so you know, there are six more mock stools out there, Koopo. So be sure to say hi to my friends if you find one. Also, the more Emporiums we open up, the more stuff we'll have for you to buy. That's a win-win situation in my books, Koopo. Thank you, Koopo. <laughs> yep, way to rally those likes, uh, um, Droggle. Good job, man. All right, Vacation Bird, where are you at? Where's Vacation Bird? There it is. Vacation Bird, Vacation Cloud, the perfect match. Right, now, now that that's done, uh, we have a couple things we can do. Divine Intel. I'm curious what that is. And it's off to progress the story, Koopo. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's important. That's for lowering the strength of a summon. Corel's divine sanctuaries contain knowledge of the summon entity, Alexander. Long ago, a great but wicked nation prospered in Corel. Legend tells that it was wiped out overnight by a giant mechanical construct. A construct called Alexander. Alexander? I'm not familiar with that summon. Maybe we should fight Phoenix on the stream too. Get Phoenix taken care of. Excuse me.
Okay, that didn't do anything. Hi, sweet pea. Was this salad good? Ah, no worries. No worries. Yeah. Alexander. Okay. What does it look like? No, I'm not ready yet. Um, uh, this is 26 minutes. This is Alex. Alright, Summon Shrine. Alright guys, you are... Uh, 91 into 26 minutes. Okay, so triangle, triangle, circle, triangle, triangle, circle. Triangle, triangle, circle, triangle, triangle, circle. Oh, there it is! That's the summon. That's weird looking. I don't know if I like that. It's kind of creepy. Alright then. Oh, Chadley. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Oh, thanks for the virtual hugs, Natasha. Great to see you. Hope you're having a great day. And, uh, hope... Yeah, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate that. I know you're on the late night streams a lot. When I'm usually asleep. <laughs> this is technically the, the third. No, well, this is the third stream, the but third stream. somehow I go to sleep earlier and earlier, so I'm great. Oh, great to see everyone. Hi, Miss Deanna. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Captain Zach. Hi, Drago. Hello, um... Nintendo Sonic Gamer Gal, hi, uh, uh, Dizul Shade, Dizul, hi Two Face, hi Anthony in Paladin Prime, good to see you one, hi Jade Rose, great to see you, hi, um, Joseph West, how's it going, hi OH, hi Sora Cloud, hi everyone, hope you guys are doing well, oh, thank you so much Natasha, very, very sweet, thank you so much, it's eight where you are, oh wow Natasha, okay. So yeah, it's uh, 10 where I am. It's really not that late, but a lot of times I'm asleep at 10, so. Hi, Miss Deanna. Great to see you. Hi, Joseph West. Hi, Alpha. Hi, Joe Toro. Oh, they put us back in our costumes. Hi, uh, Zach. Hi, Jacob Langlet. Hope you guys are all having a great night tonight. And uh, thanks for coming to the stream, everyone. Right. Everybody's in their regular attire. Mount Coral. Out of service. So we've got a walk? Ah, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. <sighs> right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Hey, Cloud! Materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So? That means wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too! <laughs> Alright, timeout's over, team. Let's go! Yeah, Yuffie's a little you know, pushy. Yuffie, when you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. So that's the game. Fine. Permission to sing, sir? What? Permission to scratch my back, sir? Permission huh? to blow my nose, sir? Huh? Oh, so hard. <laughs> you didn't get permission to yawn yet. Do I get permission or not? He's kind of acting like a little kid. Sure. 
You can do it while you're warming the bench. That's an abuse of power. Tyrant. Tyrant! Tifa, tell me your secret. <laughs> How'd you put out with this jerk face? <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. <laughs> yeah, by how much? Like 51% good guy to 49% jerk face? Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. Not you too, Tifa. <laughs> Beard is right there! You guys are talking on him, he's right there! <laughs> that made me smile. I think Aerith might need a break. Sorry. My legs are killing oh, no. me. <sighs> Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the material I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and scout the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. <laughs> catch up later, my ass. <clears throat> <sighs> Think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's not himself right now, you know? I know. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Thanks. We'll do. And yet again, we get left alone with Aerith. Yep. And another opportunity for a quote date. <laughs> when Tifa is actually the canon date person. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the game is constantly pushing you to have a relationship with Aerith. Also, why would Aerith... Isn't Aerith like a super-powered being? Why would she be tired? Um, yes, Jacob. We actually will be doing something on May, uh, March 10th. We're going to be giving away our copy of uh, Mario um, vs. Donkey Kong on Mario Day. So, make sure you guys tune in for that stream, because we will be giving away the copy of the game. Awesome. Mario Day! Yay for Mario Day! We found a Materia! I don't know what that materia does, but we found one. Maybe we can get the birds to help us find some more material. Luke. No. <laughs> it's a bird-free zone, Amber. <laughs> Come on, Luke. Nope. The birds want to help you out. Nope. Bird-free zone. Luke, the birds. Nope. You're, you're excluding birds from the playthrough. Yep. I thought you said this. This game is supposed to be inclusive. They said it's trying to be as inclusive as possible. Why is it not including more birds? Bird missions. No more bird missions, Amber. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Um. <sighs> <laughs> we should uh, we should play a Mario game too, Natasha. Um, I don't know if Luke is gonna play a little bit of that game that he's we're gonna give away on I, March tenth. I, I probably will be doing that. So as part it's of my Mario stream. versus Donkey Kong. I might do two Mario games. We'll see. Maybe we'll do another Mario game, Natasha. When you guys are not losers at all, you guys are amazing. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, thank you for the super chat, um, Jacob Langley. You're breathtaking. You have friends from all over. Um, oh, awesome. That's fantastic. Hmm. Uh, Yuffie is obsessed with finding material, Materia. as always, says Miss Deanna. That's right. Just like how Kina is obsessed with food in Final Fantasy IX. Awesome. I don't know if I read that name correctly. Oh, Kina or Kina. Oh, you're winding down before passing out. Okay, Jotaro, thanks for hanging out. Oh no, Natasha says, I'm scared of birds in real life. Got a few stuck in my house and I ran out screaming. Oh my gosh. Well, at least it wasn't a bat, Natasha. I've had a bat, well, in the house when I was little. and Man, that was scary. But yeah, birds are... I mean, I can imagine having a bird... Like, attack you would be really scary. I've seen some videos of of people literally have sitting and eating their lunch and a bird flies into their car. Like a hawk or just any kind of bird. Honestly, that would terrify me. Even a pigeon flying into my car would actually freak me out. Okay. So we're doing the scale tree now. Sounds good, Luke and Amber. Awesome, Natasha. 
required weapon ability damage up. So we're gonna do this. Wow, I didn't even know we were doing anything for Mario Day. Yep. Uh, counter fire. No, what is this? Static shock, no. What is this? Enhanced guard, no. What is this? Weapon ability, we did this. What is this? Enhanced attack, we did this. What is this? Snow flurry. Formidable counter. <laughs> I would die, lol, says Natasha. Yeah, it, yeah, birds are, I mean, honestly, having any kind of thing coming at me is pretty, pretty scary to me. <gasps> that freaks me out. Hey, Amber, maybe we can get some monkeys to help us find materia. Savan says maybe some monkeys can help Luke. No. <laughs> I want the monkeys to help. Too bad, so sad. Oh my gosh, Luke. Mm. In the new area of Disney Dreamlight Valley, mm. you know how you can tame like different things like squirrels and raccoons and stuff? Mm. Well, in the new area of Rift in Time, the DLC... Mage Wolf was saying, this is great, now Luke can tame monkeys. And I was like, what do you mean? And sure enough, there were monkeys in that realm. So we can actually, you have to tame those monkeys in that area. So your character is going to be taming monkeys, Luke. I see. They're really cute. Luke doesn't like monkeys because of I, I, the monkey from Super Monkey Ball. Because I, I was being mean to Luke. I do not like eye eye the monkey. Luke's favorite animals are monkeys and spiders. No. <laughs> and birds. No. No birds. No I don't monkeys. know why, but I imagine riding a chocobo would be like riding Big Bird. Like having Big Bird walking around and then riding on his back like piggyback. Hi, kids. I don't know how... I can picture how Big Bird talks, but I can't recreate the voice. Thank you. Hi, I'm no, Big no, 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 Bird. No, no, you don't. You don't need to. Hi, I, I can't do yeah, it very thank you, well. Thank you. It's not not coming out correctly. Good. Who right, can you so do a Big Bird impression? No, I cannot. So we're doing um. Mm, this is the skill tree for the game. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. This is a skill tree. Mm-hmm. This is a skill tree for the game. Yes. It's more like a skill. Galaxy. No, that's a skill tree. And red. What is this? Siphon Fang. What is this? Enduring Vengeance. That sounds good. Do that. Do this. There we go. And then Barrett. Barrett's got some stuff. Barrett's got this. United Focus. We don't want to do that. What is this? That's not anything. Well the skill tree takes a while, but I'm just gonna grit and bear it. Ha ha. It'll be less time than that one thing we were doing. Right, that's done. That's you mean done. the bird quest? Yep. Where yep. We were looking for that. See? Already done. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Well, that was nice of Cloud to stay behind and help Aerith. She's not as, like, physically fit as some of the other people. Yeah, she doesn't, like, do... Because, yeah, that's right, because Barrett trains for, like, fighting and stuff for Avalanche. Tifa trains as a martial artist. Cloud trains as a soldier. Mm -hmm. And Red is just, like, an animal, so he obvious... Oh, wait, he is back with us. Yeah, Red's back here helping Aerith. Aerith and Red have a connection. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. So basically, Tifa and Barrett went up, up ahead. And Yuffie. And Yuffie. Yuffie went up super far. Oh, but it's also a story reason why they split up um, Aerith, Red, and Cloud. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, so those of you guys who came on this episode, you guys missed the last episode where we spent almost a half an hour on one quest where a bird had to find a piece of materia or something like that. It wasn't even materia. I guess it was just something stupid. We were like looking for something dumb like a leaf or something. Weird like that. Going up. <coughs> Moving on up. 
So are we gonna do a, uh, you're gonna do a, um, mm -hmm. ultimate thing tonight, or? Yeah, Twilight Princess. Oh, Twilight Princess tonight, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's exciting. Yep, hopefully. I mean, I, I'm trying to remember Papyrus' schedule. I think he told me it was free on Sunday, but I don't remember. Yeah. Mm, Papyrus um, shows up for late night streams, so. I'm, it's 50 50, he'll be there. Well, speaking of monkeys, I haven't played Ape Escape since I was a kid. That used to be fun, says um, Natasha. Oh, there were harmless brown bats in, bats in Oklahoma? Oh, wow, Natasha. Yeah, Luke loves monkeys, says Joseph, but loves in quotation. Mm. Ha 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 ha. I have a 10 year old son, kind of want to buy it. Oh, the ape escape? Interesting. Natasha. We do this fast. Sorry, I'm sorry, guys, I forget to look at the chat. Luke, does the character Zach get tired when he's walking, says Captain Zach? No. Nope. Kind of, uh, oh, it reminds me of Princess Bride. Wesley kind of climbed like that. Awesome, Natasha. Yeah. Princess Bride is great. All right, guys, we're about uh, 40 minutes in. Um, remember to keep pushing for the like goal so we don't have, like, stuff taken away. Joe Toro says Luke is especially looking forward to the new Monkey Ball game coming this year. I'm not covering it. <laughs> the only way Luke's going to cover it is someone does the ultimate tier and pays for him to play it to make him play it. I'm not doing it. It's a hard game. No, it's not why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't like the monkey. The monkey loves you. I don't. Eeky. Give him some eeky. You played that game originally because you remembered that game from when you were younger. I remembered it from the GameCube, but apparently those were memories of terror, so... <laughs> they weren't fond memories. Yeah. It was like, oh... Uh, yes, Ape Escape. Go Luke. <laughs> uh. Oops, where the heck am I? Might be lost. Hi, HM Goldback. How's it going? Great to see you. Oh, have a good night. Oh. Thank you for hanging out, HM Goldback. Might have split up. Alright, uh, item transmutate. Well, now that I've got Mike and Sully in Dreamlight, mm. I don't know what is the next character that I'm supposed to get in there. Like, I guess I have to wait for quite a while before they add a new character. Probably. Guess I'll just focus on picking up all the sticks off of the ground for four months until the next character comes. Probably. Um, I kind of made this, like, giant gazebo in the game. Of advice used to control both water pressure and temperature pressure in boilers. I don't even know what that is. That looks important. Mm. Probably for a quest. Yeah, you probably need that. Hmm. Oh, look, how come instead of a mm. gr grinding stream, you could just do a. I think Drago or somebody in the chat was suggesting mm. you could always do a card. A stream where you just play the card game. No. <laughs> you want to do that? Go for it. I'm not doing that. Oh, speaking of that, I did get you some new cards. No, thanks. I did a side quest. Um, you get... Uh, I don't even know how to view your cards. Can you view your cards in this? Yeah, okay. Um, so you have... Um, are they going to show it? I don't even know how to... Sh uh, Okay, they're there. Can you show me? So you have this little little guy down here. Aww, cute. You got a uh, Moogles. Aww, cute. This is a Moogle wizard, so apparently if you put this card down in the right place, see those other two characters that are in your card? They'll mm -hmm. pop out of your card and become three, like two other cards that will allow you to put them on the map or something. What? It, yep. It's like a chocobo ability that somehow adds more cards for you. I don't know how, but yeah, those M Moogle Trio is technically three cards in one, so you put it down and then somehow it duplicates into two more cards. I don't know how, though. It just does. No okay, idea. Koopo. I don't know. 
<laughs> more birds attacking me. I don't want to play more, um, Prince of Persia. This ends here. Yeah, on the weekend sometimes. Someday. You're done. I was planning on doing it in the morning, but like all these Final Fantasy streams have been tiring me. I know, I didn't get to do anything this morning. I was supposed to do a morning stream, but I've used it a lot. See you around. No, it's okay. I'm sorry, Kuko. This This Tuesday, I have an uploaded video on the channel. I'm sorry, Kuko. You're fine. Probably gonna be. Well, I have a lot of things I have to figure out, but I'll probably be streaming this week. <laughs> oh yeah, that is kind of how Wesley climbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right, Natasha. That is how they were climbing in The Princess Bride. Wow, that's interesting. Barrett pointed a picture. Painted a picture for us. Wow, that's really interesting observation, Natasha. That's really cool. Yeah, he was like leaping from one part to another when he was climbing. That movie. Oh, it's been a while since I've watched it. Of course, I told Luke that that movie is overquoted. So. You've been <laughs> quoting that movie more and more. I have though. not been quoting that movie. Yes, you have. Ugh, inconceivable. What? <laughs> mm hmm. I have not. Mm-hmm. Weird. I didn't say that Luke should do the card stream, Amber. I meant you if you wanted to. Oh, okay, Drago. All right, I see. Yeah, I'm not doing it. It's one me and my one of my me and my son's favorite movies. Cool, Natasha. Very cool. Wow, that's neat. Luke likes the uh, Princess Bride. Mm -hmm. I guess I like it. I don't know. I always tell Luke he's quoting it. Everyone seems to quote it too much, so I don't like it. Like when people quote it so much. But that was now. Now I never hear anyone quoting it. Years ago, people used to quote it a lot. All right, I made a boiler <laughs> valve, whatever that is. As you wish, LOL, says Natasha. Ha 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 Yeah. Are boxes Cloud's version of Link's pots? Yeah, I think so, Drago. Earlier somebody said, uh, I think it was the, yeah, somebody was saying that um, Cloud is becoming Link because he's making friends with all these little animals and going into their houses and stuff. Oh, wow. I'm part Sicilian, like the inconceivable dude. Interesting, Natasha. Never mess with a Sic Sicilian when death is on the line. <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. All right, guys and gals, let's try to get those likes up. We haven't already. Uh, it'll help continue to push views. Bring people into the uh, the stream tonight. I would never want a guy to say that to me. Just, I would want him to just say you love me. Yeah, exactly, Natasha. Yeah, nothing weird and cryptic like as you wish. But when he said as you wish, he really meant I love you. That's not as bad as I know. Yeah. Han Solo said I, I know. She didn't even say it back to to Leia. He never broke up with her in the book. He loved her. He just it was, it was, what's his name? It was the Disney people that got them divorced. He didn't want to say the word I love, but he did love her. Or the phrase. You're as good as dead. That off. Disney made them divorced. In the books, they you know, they never so got bad. they never got divorced in the books. Yeah, I agree, Natasha. I would want uh, someone to actually say I love you instead of saying as you wish. Say what you mean, what you say, and say what you mean. That's basically yeah. Hmm. This might be it. Yeah, that was a very nice story because 
that, like, that was really cool because, like, the story said, like, even death cannot stop true love. Only delay it a little while. <laughs> Look at Yuffie's, like, she's leaving pictures for us to follow. Who leveled up? Cloud leveled up? Well, I mean, it's been almost three hours. Wait, no, it's it's been it's been about two. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we were talking about the Princess Bride when we were playing Phoenix Wright. We were talking about the whale because somebody was taking revenge on the whale. <laughs> we were using the quote, "Offer me money." Offer me, Sorry, offer me riches. No time to celebrate. All that I have and more. <laughs> they got the whale killed the guy's girlfriend, so we were like, I want my girlfriend back, you son of a whale. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, in our, in our Ace Attorney video, we they were like, uh, yeah, in our Ace Attorney stream, basically this guy was getting revenge because the whale killed the guy's girlfriend. But in reality, the whale didn't kill his girlfriend. He thought the whale did. Yep. He got revenge for no reason. Yep. Actually, he didn't get revenge, actually. He, didn't, he was going to get revenge. He was going to get revenge, but he didn't, he didn't get revenge. And I messed up there. He was not the Dread Pirate Roberts. Yeah. He planned on it. In his heart, he was upset. But he didn't actually commit anything bad. Oh, other than he covered up his crime, which is bad. All right, Natasha has to go. Later, All Natasha. Right, see you, Natasha. Have a great night. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for being so sweet, Natasha. Thank you. And and good night to your son also, and your fam. Have a wonderful night, Natasha. Thank you so much. Let's do this sportsman like, says Drago. <laughs> You're dead. Alright, hi Agent 4, hi Nostalgia. Um, yeah, Captain Zack, we have to go over with our ultimates like every We don't know what what days will be ultimates for us. We have to talk to them first. There is one tomorrow. We're all done. Yep, so there is one tomorrow, I guess. Gamer gal. Okay. Gamer gal. Oh, very sweet, Natasha. Thank you. We won't hold that. Gamer and I Let's do this. Skill abilities, triple slash. That'll do. That was quick. Moving on then. Very sweet. Hmm. Alright, I'm kind of lost. That's my favorite scene in the movie. Hmm? The revenge scene. Hmm. <laughs> Where he says, offer me stuff, and then he says, I want my father back. I know. But it's, it's interesting that I watched an interview with that guy, and he talked about how in reality, you know, revenge doesn't get him any, his character didn't get him anywhere. Mm-hmm. It's actually I've not. made my whole life about revenge. Now that it's over, I don't know what to do with my life. You'd make an excellent Dread Pirate Roberts. Yeah. Just, I mean, that was Wesley's way of saying, we can find something for you to do. Like, it's you know. hard for you to move on after you've like, tried to, to revenge your whole life. There was never a sequel, so we don't know if he actually became the Dread Pirate Roberts, but Wesley retired. Lived out the rest of his days with Princess mm. Buttercup. Likely. Mm. Yeah. I uh, grab more gold. I don't even know what that does. So they were leaving stuff uh, for me to follow, but I'm still getting lost because I mean I'm adventuring. I'm only adventuring. I know exactly where I'm going. Dun 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 dun. dun. You sure you want to fight? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wrong game. Well, I mean, Link's adventure. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I want to see you guys play King of Hearts Birth by Sleep. Just like that. We did. So Savan. Oh, we did. Awesome. We did. There's a live stream series of uh, Birth by Sleep. Um, I can't tell you what year we did it though. It was a long time ago. Kingdom Hearts rules. Yep, definitely. Virtual hugs from Stall Joey and Agent Four. Thank you. Look at how Yuffie's leaving art behind for us. Oh, that's Yuffie. You still holding up okay? Yeah, feeling great actually. Could do this all day. It's like, it's like someone's pulling me up. You've become one with the mountain. Say what? <laughs> really? I did? Hey, thanks for having me. The hell are you doing, Red? Relax, it happens to all new climbers. If she passes out, I'll carry her. Let's go! What? Red's like, if she passes out, I'll carry her. She told her she's becoming one with a mountain? Uh-huh. But she's not becoming one with a mountain. That's distracting other people. Go on! Okay, so then we're gonna go triple slash. That'll do. Mm hmm. Oh, I can tell it's around this time of night. Uh, can I make it across it? Oh, I can. Exploring! Amazing that they have a treasure chest all the way out here. Mm. Savan says, oh, cool. That's cool. Yeah, definitely, Savan. Um, it's probably somewhere online you can find it. The birth by sleep. Um, <sighs> if somebody requests Mario, uh, if some an ultimate member um, has us play it again, we'll do it again, Daffy. Yeah. Superman 64. We won't Ooh. like it, but we'll yeah. do it if somebody do it. They recast the princess. If they recast the princess bride, it'd have to be the grandson of the original, telling the story to his own grandkid. Mm -hmm. His actors could be how the grandkid imagines them. Yeah, that would be cool, Droggle. Definitely. That'd be interesting because Fred Savage. I mean, Fred Savage isn't a grandpa though. Fred Savage is a. Uh, how old is Fred now? It's like 50. Well, he could be. He could be a younger man. Piece of cake. Everyone's My dad didn't get white hair until I was You're done. Both going through those rings, says Joseph. No. Aerith has, like, altitude sickness, says Jotaro. Mm, no, she doesn't have altitude sickness. She's, um, she's not in shape. Mm, she's not used to, like, working out this much. Yeah. Climbing a mountain is, like, takes a lot of energy. Yep. Muscles. Like, you're, you'd be worn out your legs. Because you're not only running, but you're also, like, it's like you're using a stair climber, basically. You'd be you'd be going up a, a a steep, you know. You'd be exerting more muscles and stuff like that. So she's not. Midgar is like a. Mm, Midgar is flat, in a sense, you know. And even then, I remember in uh, Final Fantasy Remake, like when we were running around with Aerith a lot, she would lose her breath sometimes. Well, I mean, it's still make the game somewhat accurate. I mean, 
Everyone else has had okay. either military or sports like a martial yeah. arts training. And Aerith hasn't, so it makes sense why she wouldn't really work. She basically just walks around some of the house, so she doesn't do like martial arts or anything. You're dead! She uses magic. Yeah. She's a she's a white mage, basically. Yeah. Yeah. You're done. Alright. Which I always found it was weird that Aerith and Zack would end up together because Zack's completely different than her. They're, they have, like, nothing in common. With Zack is a very health-conscious, like, exercise maniac. Yeah, they have zero in common. He would probably, like, help her, like, do exercise and stuff. He loves being physically fit. Tell you, hikers these days ain't got no manners. You can open the door. Each other. It's proper. Uh, I tell you, hikers these days ain't got no manners. You greet each other. It's proper. Where's there a hiker? I don't see anybody. Uh, I tell you, hikers these days ain't got no manners. You greet each other. It's proper. I don't see. Any I hear people talking, but I don't see anybody. Uh, I tell you, hikers these days ain't got no manners. You greet each other. It's proper. Well, I'll be. Finally, folks who've got some manners. I don't get it. Tons of folks hiking up the mountain today, and not a one of them so much as nodded my way. Even tried calling out to a few sick-looking fellas all in black, and what did I get? Silence. <sighs> I guess these days never learned to greet each other or something. Okay. Meet the hiker. Oh... Oh, Joe Toro says he feels like Red was kind of referring to when new climbers get, the higher they go, the more thin the air is, and they kind of feel giddy because they feel like they're going to pass out almost. Because they're not used to climbing high altitudes. That might have been what Red was referring to. Mm. Interesting, Joe Toro. Thank you. Drago says if anyone wants to go ultimate and doesn't know what they want to the K-Wings play, I give permission for them also to do the Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Um, it's a very long game. Okay, if you guys want to do an episode of Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, Drago's okay, having me well. play that, so if anyone wants to, ultimates to can do also, a, an episode of that. I've said before, but Ultimates can also take over, like, main series that were put on hiatus, like, um, Prince of Persia, or, um, uh, Tales of Symphonia, or whatever. Alright, good to know, Drago. I'll keep that in mind. When next time I do that, too, I can let other people know that are watching that if they want. Let's go! Oh my, my gosh, did we all get turned into frogs? Oh, no. One more shot! I think we got turned into frogs. Yep. Get fired up. Huh. Huh. Right, you good? You Keep it together. Take it over. It for you. There. Okay, careful. Gotcha. Ooh, this enemy might be pretty tough, actually. down. Cloud with limit. Ooh. Gotta give it my all. Nicely done. Moving on then. 227 experience. Not bad. Not bad at all. Mm-hmm. 
You're fine. Why are you saying you're fine? It's okay. You can always recap, honey. I put time codes. Ah, I'm okay. I'm fine. Nah, it's not. Alright, guys and gals, let's keep those likes up. We don't want to, uh, slip too much. Now, where are we, anyway? Okay, uh... Oh, I went backwards, didn't I? Oops. Yeah, I went... I went a little backwards. Uh... Huh. Hmm? I it all I don't know what time I'm getting done, honey. I, I don't know. I know what tomorrow is. I would maybe six. Set what? What what time? Okay, that's fair. Um Okay, 200 experience. Not bad. Not very good, though. Hmm. Okay, I think this is where they need us to be. Shinra helicopter. Where the heck are we? Oh, we're kind of low on health. I didn't even see that. I gotta pay attention to that. It wasn't so bad, she says. It wasn't great either, but better than nothing. Oh, okay, we're going the right way now. I think. Hmm. <laughs> Parrot, Tifa, and um, Yuffie. I'm telling us where to go. Okay. Where are we now? Are we there yet? Ah! Alright, so we're gonna meet up with our team pretty soon. Saying some stuff. Cool beans. Always check the, um... The machines for cheaper stuff. It's, uh... One thing that I always do. You never know what you're going to find. Healing, cleansing, fire, ice, lightning, wind, poison, barrier. Barrier is good. This is... Very nice. Very, very nice. Could buy that. Kind of expensive though. I don't really see why that's important. 
headband. Yeah, it doesn't do much. And then the other thing I want to buy is... I own one of these? Okay. Oops. Alright, let's go team. We're probably going to meet up with our crew now. At least, I would think so. There's a helicopter! Come on. Out you go. Again? Well, look who it is. You here to pick a fight? What? Oh, <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon, and then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. So, that's it? Well, since you're here... <laughs> uh, we'd love to stay and chat, but Rude and I are busy people. She'll be more than happy to keep you company, though. Seriously? Now play nice, shit birds. Ready. All right, what's the name of this thing? Valkyrie. Hmm. Nah, we'll just call it Elena rematch. Who cares? Good job, guys. You're almost at 120. Let's keep going. And remember, there is a uh, um, there is a short tonight at 11 o'clock. Hmm. Wait, I thought I sat on the bench before this fight. Dragged out fight. Go for it, guys. Wow, this is not going well. Okay, all right, fine. This ends here. Not gonna stagger at all, huh? There we go, finally. Let's finish this. Any last words? Waiting for a little bit of stagger there. You're dead. Oh, I was in the middle of something. See how it's a cool cinematic? 
They give the boss like three phases. Now. I think I should do it. You're up. All right, Shiva, let's party. have synergy with red Don't stop now Nope, I don't have synergy with red Bummer Link, what are you doing? Good job. Sorry guys, Link is distracting me. You can't have a nail file, Link. You're a cat. You'll hurt yourself. This ends here. Going all out. You're done. Guess the Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. Come on. We need to find the others. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia project. As you are aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors, unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. 
more specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas, organisms dying to be understood, and finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. Mr. President, please. What is this really about? Wu-Tai is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes. There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. Hmm. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend, or even confirm if it actually exists. <laughs> Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him. <sighs> Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your loyal support, and I demand the same. <sighs> I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. <laughs> Zack! Yeah? Let me in. Get to play Zack now? Get to play Zack. Right? Yeah. Where is she? Upstairs. Mother and daughter. So, Zach is in the present, or this is another timeline? going to take her home now slow down I've been to your place Shinra's got it staked out not anymore they have bigger things to worry about but 
And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taken care of- No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. Your note had me worried, and now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith. But if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can do that much. That's Aerith, uh... Yes, I know. She okay? You're okay. Right, Aerith? Hey, Elmira. Yes? What happened to this place? The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. What is going on? Aerith. Hey, which way do you think Midgar is? It would be east of here. That way. I wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Really looking forward to that conversation. So... Zack is in the future or Zack's in another... The sky is different. Hmm. So, anyway, guys, there's a YouTube short up. Um, if you guys could could go give that YouTube uh, short some love for Link, that would be great. And then I'll resume in about uh, 30 seconds. It's just like a 30 second short. Really helps the channel out a lot. Also, Link made a cute video for you guys if you want to say hi to Linky. Link the cat made a cute video where he thinks he's a guard dog. I am confused. I don't understand what's going on. Like, either it's an alternate timeline, or it takes place, like, in the future, or the past, or something. I don't know. What do you mean the short video is on private? Just take, uh, you know, a few seconds, leave a comment over there, show your support, and then we'll start the stream uh, over here again. So we need to give this a cloud. There we go. Oh, wait. Why do I have more spaces now? Ooh. Whoa, wait. I have two. I have two what? Why do I have two of these? That's awesome. Attack power plus 20. Heck yes. Magic. Now, who cares about that? Weapon ability, ATB recovery. 
No. Attack plus 20, heck yes. Let's go. Okay, uh, chakra, level boost, lightning, um, access, luck. Luck still hasn't gone up. Um, level boost is max. Chakra. Um, what if I take, what if I put luck here? I put chakra here. Fire and ice material. Cloud already has fire and ice. He has lightning. Lightning level two. Lightning level two. Uh, I don't really think I need wind. Barrier would be nice. Where's barrier? I thought I bought barrier. Show me barrier. Where's barrier? Where's barrier? Is barrier green? Is barrier green? Where is it? Barrier is green. Okay. Um, hmm. And I want to level up. Exp uh, what's the one thing? I want to level up. Um, not auto cast. I don't care about that. What's the name of that thing that I was using? What is it? Luck. Luck would go up to level two, right? Bingo. Now, Chakra is level 3, not level 4, that's fine. Assess, I don't really care about Assess, but whatever. Healing, Fire, Ice, Chakra, Barrier. Good. These are all good. Excellent. Um... All right, we're up to uh, 40 views. Keep watching the short, guys, when you can. Remember, shorts count as a new view every time you click that link. I'm going to continue the story, so we'll see how the short is doing in about 20 minutes. Because we really need to push for additional views. Um, doing, uh, what was this? That was Zach. 30, 33 minutes was um, Materia. Materia. Magic. Okay. Aerith. Um. Walk. Trip resumes. Because it would be yeah. Trip resumes. All right, let's go. So we gave Cloud. Uh, maybe he'll have better luck now. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. All right, let's roll. Yeah, so YouTube Shorts are kind of a funny thing. Um, their um, their view system is different than a live stream, different than an upload. As long as you click the link, it counts as a new view. So that's how YouTubers are able to push like people to watch their shorts. Is um, when people click on it, it counts as like you know, you don't want to refresh the video. You want to click on the link because refreshing it doesn't count because YouTube. Um, just so people know, they actually don't have a system in place to, like, check to see if people are watching based on their, um, IP address. Because shorts are a completely different algorithm. It's a completely different thing through, um, Google and YouTube. Over here! Hi, Yuffie! Sorry we're late! You okay? Yep. Really worked up a sweat. So, how'd recon go? All clear. No nasty surprises, and no materia. <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor. Which is the whole reason we're here. So hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it. Oh, come on. Just when I got comfortable. I keep watching that short, guys. One sec. Ouch. This is why you always have a spare link, see? This is the importance of doing this. Link's like, I don't understand what's going on. Hey, buddy. 
buddy. No, 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 buddy, don't! No, I just got you all calm, and now you're gonna be a pain in my butt. Oh. Let's go, team. Oh, wait, if my team is back, then that means I, I want my team back. Oh, my team is back. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, Tifa, can we give you better stuff? Material equipment for Tifa. Tifa needs better stuff now. Why does she have two slots? What is happening? I mean, not that I'm against this, but this is pretty cool. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Grants 50% chance of entering battle with unbridled strength active. Yo. Enhanced magic guard. Reduces magic damage by 5% while guarding. Eh. I like that. <laughs> I like that very much. Uh, let me guess. Yuffie, do you also have... No. You don't... Why don't you have... Because level 20... Is it just level 27s that have this feature? What level is Barrett? Is Barrett level 10, 26 as well? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My backup team, what's going on? Why Why do both Tifa and Cloud have three, or two, but Barrett is a level 27? What is happening? Why, why is that? Why is that? Oh. I don't know. So we'll figure it out. Maybe. I can see my helipad from here. <laughs> Whoa, this looks familiar. That's it. The Corel reactor. Core reactor is all messed up. Okay, everybody watch our step. We don't want to fall in. Oh, I should really be saving this. Okay. Save. Works for me. Alright, so the short was at 40 views when I last looked at it. Where's the short at now? Excellent job, guys and gals! Beautiful. 150 views already. Nice. And that's the new YouTube short. Thank you, guys. Uh, every 15 minutes, if you could click that link, that'd be great. <laughs> hey, so what's the deal with all these creepy hooded guys anyway? They're Shinra's victims. <sighs> well, they're in good company. I'll give them that. How you figure? When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was... pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. I thought both sides wanted a ceasefire. <sighs> the old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They'd been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodbrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Who'd you say? Lodbrock! His squad saved Wutai from those senile old fossils. Paved the way forward. They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, BAM! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good. <laughs> but, why the interim? Because, once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool, right? Just 
just gonna stand there? Let's get going. And what happened? Oh, come on. You guys know what happened. Hey, there's the robe guys again. Alright, so where are we? What is this section of the map called? This is... Oh, wait. I don't know what this is. State of the reactor? Mount Coral Reactor? Let's go. The cats. No. We'll say pests. Follow Yuffie. Where did Yuffie go? Wait, where did Yuffie go? Um. Sorry. Wait, why did the... The robe guy is laughing. That can't be good. Hey, come look at this. Yuki, what are you doing? I am trying to follow Yuffie. Down there is Mako? Yep. Then it's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia! Woohoo! Oh, I'm gonna be so powerful, it's scary! <gasps> what is that?! Ah! Set only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Hojo has sought them for years. Did you see what was inside it? That had to have been the biggest freaking materia ever! Just gotta figure out how to catch that overgrown fish. That guardian of the planet? Whatever. I'm not about to let a materia that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, it's mine. I called it. Cool. You fish. Huh? We'll keep moving. Hey, not cool. This isn't goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon. <laughs> A guardian beast like that wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Meaning. Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget, Shinra is not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. He is, and talking won't stop him. Let's go. All right, uh, Cloud Auxiliary Team. Let's move out. Follow Barrett. Wow, you guys could just, you know, move around the weird stuff. Or not. Are we 
we actually gonna adjust to what's going on? Okay, follow Barrett. Just trying to see if there's any treasure chests or anything here. For the cause. Another mine? Oh no. Coal mines. Those are important boxes. There we go. Hey, Moogle Metal! That's good. We definitely use a Moogle Metal. Okay. I was gonna say, I didn't hear the music. You're done. Cloud is stronger now. Stronger than before. Wow. I mean, this isn't so bad if this is just a little bit of the mines. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Can I go down and grab that stuff? Yes, I can. Awesome. Don't mind me, Barrett. I'm just looking around. Okay, no treasure chest. Apparently, they want to go that way. Ugh, dead end. For now, can't cross till we lower it. Well, this sucks. What? You know this area, don't you? <clears throat> Control room's up there, at the top of the cliff. How do we reach it? Through the mine. Won't be a walk in the park, though. Place has been abandoned for years. Working on it. Just wait a minute. Hey, Cloud. Come on, Cloud. What's going on, man? the Mako got to him. Regardless, he's clearly tired. Cloud could rest here while a couple of us go and lower the bridge, yeah? <laughs> Works for me. When that thing rings, you'll know we're done. And you, don't move till you're good and ready. Alright, put on your mining helmets and follow me. Oh, Yuffie is now the party leader? Wow, interesting. Okay. Fast travel is now no longer available. 
I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. So Yuffie is now in charge, huh? Can we pick who... Can we pick our team? Oops. No. All right. All right, let's go, Yuffie. Well, that's handy. Oh, man. That is such a cool weapon. All right. 